South Africans love to talk about and enjoy the natural beauty our country has to offer. What we often take for granted is how much wisdom our rural communities have collected over many centuries from these beautiful places where they live. From generation to generation, this indigenous wisdom has been passed down orally. While this served a special purpose for family cohesion, the oral nature of our country's indigenous wisdom meant that its future was not assured in the long term. The necessity to document and protect this wisdom became evident. To add to this, other threats such as misappropriation and misuse of indigenous knowledge were a growing reality. This prompted the South African government to note the significance of indigenous knowledge, which was further being lost through processes like urbanization and new technology adoption. To protect this valuable resource, the Department of Science and Innovation, in collaboration with the CSIR Software Architecture and Solutions Research Group, developed and implemented the IK registration system to record our IK. To date, the IK registration system has been deployed in various communities connected to 10 IK documentation centers in all nine provinces. But this is only one of its milestones. More recently, the status of and the imperative to protect IK, as well as the rights of communities that steward our IK, have been embedded into our legislation. In 2019, the President of the country signed into law the IKS Bill, which is now called the IK Act No. 6 of 2019. The significance of the Protection, Promotion, Development and Management Indigenous Knowledge Act is that it has given the country a mandate on which to explore the possibilities of indigenous knowledge in this country. And for now, we have an indigenous knowledge system, registration system, which is an IT system on which we record. And it's an important element because we need to keep it in such a way that it is protected against people who can hack it, we, so that we can keep it in such a way that we can retrieve it and we can keep it in such a way that other people from other parts of the world could also have access to it. The DSI trains regional representatives and these representatives find the community members with the IK. They then record and document this knowledge in the respective local languages using video technology and the necessary tools at the IKS documentation centers. This treasure trove of oral knowledge is then uploaded on the secure system. Apart from training, all IK Documentation Center coordinators and IK recorders enter into non-disclosure agreements before they embark on capturing IK in communities. We identify a community where we want to record them. So we go to the community and then go to the tribal council. We request a permission to document their community. So as they agree, then they call a community meeting. That's where they, we do an awareness, we explain the processes, how we work. And then the traditional council, they give us permission through signing the legal framework forms. And then after that, they introduce us to the communities. We first sign the prior informed consent with each and every IK holder, where they give us permission to document their knowledge for protection. Then after we have signed the prayer informed consent form, we send the nine disclosure form where we, we explain to them that as they're giving us this knowledge, we are not going to use the, it for our, for our benefit or we are not going to disclose it to anyone else. And then the final step that we do with the community, we go to the recording part where they demonstrate to us how they prepare, if it's for a, a flu, how they prepare this medicine step by step. The system now allows for communities to register the knowledge. Indigenous knowledge has been passed from generation to generation through the word of mouth. And as such, it has been subject of exploitation. And you know what happens when nobody 
has ownership of something or there is nothing documented to say this belongs to you, it becomes a free for all. So what this registration system seeks to do is to defend the knowledge of the community. This is what we call defensive protection. And we have positive protection, which means if then the third party wants to use this knowledge, the communities have a right to either grant or deny access to the knowledge. The IK registration system is the landing page of the NIK, MAS and Pharmacopia systems through the National IK Systems Office portal. It provides a gateway to all IK registration operations and serves as a one-stop shop for R&D communities, including the general public, to access government initiatives, policy documents, programs, and all other IK-related information and data. When we go to the National IK Management System homepage, we see that this is where the processes and structures developed through the National IK Registration System are supported. Under Fast Facts, we see that the system covers 10 provincial IK system documentation centers. The system currently has over 2,000 IK holders with over 10,000 claims. Within these claims, the system has quality assured over 3,000 IK inputs ready for scientific processing. Looking at access levels, two levels exist. Open access that contains community promotional information as well as recorded IK that is already in the public domain and confidential access that requires authorization to access the detail on a specific entry. The user can look for a community in the system and access the relevant information depending on the access levels. Besides other benefits, the value of the IK registration system in the area of IK-based innovation, for example, will support the value chain of an Ubuntu-based innovation process, which starts with the knowledge holders and communities profiled in a digital format on the system. Users are able to access community promotional information. For example, the information for the Komani San community gives the GPS location as well as tourism information. The Pharmacopia system database contains information on the use, quality, efficiency and safety of traditional medicines in South Africa. It draws on published resources on plants, the botanical distribution and uses for medicinal purposes. Researchers, community members, traditional healers and global users can benefit from the system's information, cross-referencing and research outputs. The system displays the listing of plants and from there the user can make their selection. Plant details displayed include the scientific classification, common names across most South African languages and the geographical distribution. Dr. Lamini works closely with communities in the IK-based nutraceutical platform and assist them to develop products that derives from the IK. A beautiful success story is the Sitsong Tea product. Well, in the Sitsong Tea project, um, the Sitsong Tea crafters approached us with a, a product already made. So what we needed to do was then to scientifically validate for safety and also introduce some quality and standard operating procedures. So basically we help, we help them through the process so that their product can be taken up in the market. You know when you have indigenous knowledge, obviously it doesn't, it doesn't uh, come from one individual, but it, it can come from a community or it can come from an area. The IK registration system will allow us then to be able to, you know, it will be easier to do benefit sharing agreements, for example, in terms of where did this knowledge come from? Because someone can walk in and get your knowledge and walk away and pretend it's there. But if it's registered somewhere, you can always stress and see that, oh, this knowledge came from Venda or this one came from Wazbe Natal. So it makes it actually easier. Mayor Pasha has been working with the DSI and the CSIR to develop and protect her community's IK on Sitsong Tea. 
were then introduced to registration of the indigenous knowledge, which was now uh, 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 making us feel a little bit better now that we're going to start a journey of registering so that we safeguard and protect this knowledge. And when we were going out to conferences, we we're already seeing people getting very curious in our product. And they wanted this and this science and whatever and whatever. And uh, it protected us because we didn't know much deep about science. I'm excited. I went to a, a, a vendor into the facility there for registration. I found a, 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 a guy called Robert. He was very warm to us. He orientated us, he gave us an orientation. We are really uh, looking forward to see uh, that section uh, 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 coming into, into our doorsteps because we are seeing something big with registration of knowledge. We see we're going to develop the museum for tea. We're going to a, a dig in more. There's a lot of knowledge that is lying there, especially with the older generation who are very worried that if we don't grab this opportunity of uh, exposing or developing this knowledge, uh, 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 indigenous knowledge, uh, uh, whilst this older generation are still there, we might lose the battle of fighting poverty, of fighting unemployment, of fighting illnesses. We are very rich in South Africa. We are high in biodiversity but we are claiming poverty. So we need a, 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 an incubation, a, a project that's gonna redirect the minds of the people. We are here to say to the scientists, let's partner, let's close up the gap. Let's uh, find a, a, a common denominator. So I'm glad that uh, God gave me that uh, opportunity to be a facilitator between the indigenous knowledge holders and the scientists. So we are looking forward at really registering this in our vicinity in Skukune. Register it with the IKS project and science so that we can showcase with the future generations. Between the IK gems held by the community and the exceptional digital repository that is the National IK Registration System, lies many years of effort and unwavering commitment. Every hour worth its value. The system's potential multiple uses by a variety of stakeholders hold great promise for the national economy. The system is also critical for preventing biopiracy or granting patents in error. It ensures legal certainty because of its legal benefit-sharing framework and ensures that minimum standards in information and material transfer agreements in respect of IK research are available. Finally, the results of the recorded IK will help communities to secure potential benefits and interests derived from commercialization and social good. These may include both social cohesion and economic benefits. However, the ultimate aim of the IK registration system is to protect our IK and the rights of knowledge holders.